Before the war, our family had over 100 slaves. And when it ended, they were all told that they were free to go. But if they stayed, they'd be paid. Now, if they left, they could never come back. And of those 100 slaves, only one left. My grandmother loved to tell me this story. And I loved hearing it. We have a very violent history. And the solution has always been, we will kill as many people as we have to to establish the place for white people to be. It's about a foundation of racism to maintain the status quo. It's about a, a starting line set so far back by the policies of white supremacy that you can't even see it. I had a conversation with my wife. My father worked for what he had, and I worked for what I got, and I said, that's true. I said, but you had an opportunity to work for what you got, to work for what you have. And you had a lot of black people who were working their asses off and couldn't get a house, or couldn't get this, or couldn't get that. And they couldn't get it because they were black. And these slaves range from age of, of 40 down to four months. This is the slave ledger of, uh, of our family. 